that is crazy that you're out here like openly advocating for people to manipulate people and like you know it you're not even dressing it up as something else you know you're not even saying like love bomb after they do things you like or something like that you're just straight up saying do that Hello, Hatmike here, and I just wanted to say real quick, if you've been enjoying my content, please remember to subscribe to the channel here on YouTube and follow me on Twitch so you can always catch us when we're live and see more content. Also, if you are new here, welcome in, and if you're enjoying the video, please remember to like it because it helps me out a lot. I also post funny clips and other things on TikTok. All the links are in the description below, and thanks again. Now, let's get into the video. Try to tell Jackie Chan's son how to make men obsessed with you. I could I could check that out. Oh, you know what? I don't even have the audio playing. My bad. My bizad. Hey guys, sorry about the noise. That's just seven men being so obsessed with me that they won't leave me alone. Guys, I know I make a mean grilled cheese, but seriously, you're embarrassing yourselves. Man, please let us in. We got a call about a grease fire. Okay, sure you did. <laughs> nice try, guys. I mean, it's so desperate. Come on. What? <laughs> we job. Green. My name is Chad Chat. Not really. And are you struggling to get dates? Is the guy you like not texting you back? Did your last date end with you having to post a three-part story time on TikTok? If you <laughs> answered yes to any of these questions, then that's a skill issue. Okay, I have so many people obsessed with me that I have to beat them off with a stick. And that's hard. It takes a lot of loot. Now that we're officially out of cupping season, <laughs> things in the relationship oh area- Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe a little more difficult, and that's okay. All you have to do is get better at everything immediately. TikTok. Speaking of which, that app is always offering helpful morsels of dating advice, like act interested, but not too interested. Flirt with them a lot, but not a lot a lot. Cut the red wire, not the blue wire. What do you mean there's a green wire? Cut that one too, I guess. I don't know. I've never seen that before. I'm not really sure. We've talked about alpha dating advice before, but the other day I came across this video. Things you should never say to a man if you want him to be completely obsessed. Oh, this is terrible. You're exactly my type. Don't make him too comfortable. He will start slacking. Make him feel slightly inferior to you and he'll treat you like a goddess. Don't tell oh a guy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, it's gonna be so rough. Oh god. You like him? Are you crazy? Make him feel like shit. If you find yourself intentionally trying to make someone feel inferior to you, you're a bad person. You're not allowed to girl no, bossify manipulation. Hey, you want to get dinner sometime? Mm, I don't think so. Why not? I think you're getting a little too comfortable. We're married. Are we though? <laughs> But you know who girl I am boss. obsessed with? It's Gaslight, this gatekeep, girl boss. Diva Cubs. The Lily Cup one. Thank you to Intamina for sponsoring today, and let's get back to the video. Do not say you are perfect. Keep him on his toes, sis. Don't make it so easy for him. If you were thinking of complimenting the person you're interested in, don't. What are we supposed <laughs> to say instead? It doesn't really seem like we're allowed to say anything positive, so I guess the right thing Or negative, thing though. Is you don't want to say any, either thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's it's This is how you make men obsessed with you, right? And apparently you don't say anything positive or nay Well, you say something negative, but not too negative positive but not too positive You you barely communicate at all and you never say exactly what you want This is how you healthily communicate and and you want to drop hints They have to guess it and mind read it because communicating is overrated is to insult them. Hey, I uh, saw you from across the room and I just wanted to say I could smell your breath all the way over there. Can I get you a drink <laughs> of mouthwash? You want to head back to your place alone so you can brush your hey. teeth? Keep him on his toes, sis. Don't make it so easy for him. How's he supposed to get anything done if he's got to stand on his toes all the time? Be right back, babe. I got to pick up your prescription. <laughs> How to make him obsessed with you. When on the phone with him, say his name and drag it out a little. If he says something funny, what? touch his arm while you laugh. Give him a cute nickname that only you call him, UGH. I know this means ugh, like how that's a cute thing for people to do. But when I first read this, I thought that that was the nickname like, you're uh, supposed to give him. Oh. So we've been talking for a while now and it's been great. Ugh. And <laughs> I think that we should take it to the next level. Every time I close my eyes, <laughs> as soon as they start feeling comfortable in their skin and in the relationship immediately tell them they are just okay Yeah, as soon as things are actually getting to a place where you're both really happy fuck that up Fuck that up right away because happiness is a lie <laughs> I'm a super happy person. Don't you want to be happy just like me? All I can see is our future together 
Ugh. Also, what if he doesn't want a name? <laughs> what if he likes his name or if it's already super short? Hey, my name is Nick. Hi, can I give you a nickname? No thanks, I already Nick. have one. Things you should never say to a man. You're exactly my type. Again? Is there a closer picture? Again? They're just saying the same thing over and over again. What? Sure, a Bella Hadid we can use? I just feel like we aren't zoomed in enough. Things you should never say to a man. <laughs> the videos from this account just use zoomed in pictures of models and then give some of the worst advice you've ever heard. How to make a man like you. Tell him you fucking hate him. How to make a man <laughs> spoil you. Classical conditioning. Nope, that's that's literally manipulation. Okay, wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. That is crazy that you're out here like openly advocating for people to manipulate people and like you know it. You're not even dressing it up as something else, you know? You're not even saying like love bomb after they do things you like or something like that. You're just straight up saying do that. Make a man spoil you, just like become a psychologist. All you gotta do is go to school for a minimum of five years and dedicate <laughs> your life to the intricacies of human psychology and then you can finally claim your prize. A guy named Ugh. This might just be me, but if you have to Pavlov a guy into treating you well, maybe he's not the one. Maybe just exactly. date someone else instead of treating it like a Psych 101 assignment. My boyfriend never gets me flowers, so I'm gonna give him a piece of ham every time I mention them. Hey babe, look at my tulips. I can't stand babies <laughs> or kids. Hey, wow, look at my pet Tunias. How to mess with him. Text him good morning and let him respond. Then don't reply. Have convos with him and stop responding out of nowhere. Text him come over what? then don't answer. So just don't talk to him? It's called- Okay, no. No. If, if you say come over and then don't answer, like what? I would drop this person so hard because I would think they don't know what they want or whatever's going on here is too complicated for me to like get involved with. I don't know. Like- there's a lot of obstacles and walls and they're working, you know? Um, this person doesn't seem like they want to connect with me that bad, so... I don't know. I always just come back to you. Anyone who really wants to spend time with you and be in your life, they'll, they'll like, find their way in, you know? So th this is... There's a girl version of the so-called chats. Oh, 100%. It's just bad advice, you know? Uh, bad advice knows no gender. <laughs> it, 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 um... It affects us all. <laughs> and what sucks is not only does it affect the people who end up taking it because they're going to question why they aren't happy as they're taking all this awful advice, um, but it also negatively affects everyone they interact with. You know, I think that's the one that upsets the majority of us the most is, is the fact that they're going to go inflict this awful behavior on a bunch of unsuspecting people who are probably decent enough people. Even these people are probably decent enough. They just fell victim to this crap mentality that verifies what you already want to believe you know like it's this idea that like i'm not actually the problem people i just haven't found the right person to love me but while also leaning into this idea that you have to completely teach a person how to love you you know um and there's truths to some of that on both sides obviously but um pobody's nerfed and we all have room to grow constantly you know <laughs> The absence makes the heart grow fonder. So the more absent you are, the more fonder they are. And that is the why my dad fonder. left 16 years ago. He actually loved me too much. Yeah. Thanks, dad. He must love you a whole lot now too. Yeah, for sure. Also, if you text someone <laughs> come over and then stop responding, what if they do come over? Because I think yeah. this person is assuming he'll text what and I'm ask saying. what time or something. But what if he doesn't and just shows up? I think if you invite someone over, you should be prepared for them to actually come over. All right, you see that guy on the definitely. left? Yeah, I see him. No, Take definitely. Him if you tell a person to come over, you should definitely expect maybe to see them at your front door. Like, what? Got him. Oh my god. What? I was messing around. You hired me. I don't think that's what happened. You paid a deposit. Did I, though? <laughs> Yes, like. If you want him to be insanely attracted to you, you are going to be fun to be around. You are also going to make sure that you have your own life. You your should be doing that for you your anyway. Friends, your activities yes, are yes, do those things for you anyway. Chase your bliss, one hundred percent, and you don't always have to be fun to be around, either. You, if yeah, like that's crap. Don't be toxic, toxically positive. Exactly the things that make you this interesting girl he's attracted to. No, something cause that I've noticed about a few then you trap yourself into having to pretend to be something you're not just to maintain his attention. That's stupid. Um, someone should be naturally interested in you. God, this is such bad advice. I really hope. I mean, obviously, no one here is taking this advice, but oh my God, I just think about kids. I can think about dumb middle schoolers. Yeah, dude, like, I... I 
I just think about like dumb naive middle schoolers who are watching this crap and thinking like, yeah, yeah, this totally makes sense. This is like, no, no, you guys are gonna end up hurting each other so much and it's just gonna be a big mess. And just like, uh, that you don't always have to be entertaining to hang out with. Yeah, no, absolutely. You don't always have to be entertaining to hang out with. That's crap, dude. You have to like, be you like if you aren't allowed to be yourself in a relationship then i don't understand how you will be happy i i know i can't be i need to be able to be sad when i'm sad mad when i'm mad just be whatever i am you know even if it's nothing even if i'm just feeling blech that day and i just want to like lay in bed and do nothing um i need to be able to be that with whoever otherwise i feel like i'm working you know in a way i have to put on a face like i do at work you know um, and like run through motions I don't actually give a shit about. I feel like that's incredibly problematic. Everyone deserves to relax at home. Um, and I think everyone should prioritize their own relaxation at home, you know? And if you care about someone, you should also prioritize their relaxation at home, whether it means spending time with you or away from you. Nothing I'd love more than to do nothing and be boring, but with someone else sometimes. That's what I'm saying, dude. Sometimes you really just need to sit on your phone on the couch all day and just every 20 minutes or so be like, what do you want to do? I don't know. And then you like pass out for like a little nap. You wake up, you repeat, and you just kind of do that the whole day. And we call those Sundays around here. Um, and they're they're pretty great. The <laughs> is that you need to be busy to make a guy obsessed with you. So a lot of the advice is like, you need to have a lot of friends and great relationships. <laughs> what are you talking about? Because I understand that you should take a nap on Sunday. <laughs> So you can get a boyfriend. You need to have hobbies that you're passionate about so you can get a boyfriend. Lead a fulfilling life, a successful career, and find worth within yourself so you can find worth by getting a boyfriend. Finding someone who likes you and your accomplishments should be a byproduct and not the reason you were trying to accomplish things. And in the second row, we have Brittany, four-time Olympic gold medalist. Just look at her go, John. That's right, Paul. She is just on fire today. Hang on, what's this? What's going on? Wait, what is this? What's wrong? We're getting word that she has finally gotten a text back from Josh. <laughs> I don't know. Of this day. Such That's an literally what I was just saying. I don't know. What do you want to do? Oh, my God. Well, I guess that is funny, but it's not often that I see a person with the healthy views on relationships all be so smart in that regard. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, I mean, but, uh, you know, that I've been in therapy for a long time, so I've had that. I also have been through my fair experiences of negative relationships, whether they be romantic or um, familial or, you know, just uh, social. So, like, eh, and I'm almost 30. Um, like, I know stuff and understand stuff now that I look back and just, like, see 14-year-old me or 15, 16-year-old me walking straight into bad situations, and I just think, I'd never had a chance. And the truth is, I didn't. But I was, I was a kid, you know? Like, children don't know this crap, and that's why they're looking to older people on the internet to, like, give them answers. And that's what makes this stuff so problematic but also makes what i'm doing what chad chad's doing really important too like watching this stuff and reacting to it um trying to get good information out there or sometimes even just say this is bad information you know like d people should not be you know taught like giving this credit because it's only going to serve to make your life worse and ultimately that's what you're trying to fix here anyway for little girls watching all over the world right now you can say that again paul if you do these three things he will fall in love with you. Number okay. one, a way to a man's heart is through his stomach. If you learn how to cook his favorite meal and... What if, just off the top of my head, um, what if he has an eating disorder, struggles with an eating disorder? Because, hello, um, I'm non-binary, so technically, you know, both. Uh, and uh, I don't necessarily... I have, I have problems with food. Problems. Uh, so like, nope, doesn't work for me. It doesn't make me obsessed with anyone. Um, also, not everyone gives a shit about food. Everything that he likes, I promise you, he will fall in love with you. Number two, be his support system. Living life as a man in today's okay, society you, can be difficult sometimes. You should also be her support system. That's part of being in a relationship. That's like relationship 101. Like, you should both be each other. At least this guy's kind of advocating for you to, like, share your emotions with your partner. That's something, at least. But, like, yeah, you should both be each other's support system. Hell yeah. Team you guys. 
you guys against the world, you know? <laughs> like, There's a lot of pressure. I like that most of these videos are telling us how to play mind games, and this one is just... Ladies, being a man is harder than it's ever been. Yeah, okay? and I don't know now about that either. Me a sandwich. It is too Literally, though, that is kind of what he said. Like, let me bitch and then make me food. That is low-key what he ultimately broke down to, which is pretty whack. So even, even the more positive end was still vaguely misogynistic. <laughs> we have touch screen toasters and are still giving dating advice based on a quote from John Adams. I'm not saying you shouldn't cook for the person you love. I'm just saying we need some new material. I don't know if we should be following advice that's older than light bulbs. Kids can't sleep? That's Give valid. them some arsenic. Breath stink? Gargle <laughs> oh some God. arsenic. Your breath will still stink, it's but you don't worry about that anymore. What I'm about to share is very manipulative, and I don't recommend you use it on just anyone. You're gonna create- On just anyone? You are a bad person. You are a bad person. You are consciously and knowingly a bad person. You literally just... No. 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 Bad. <laughs> if, no. No one should be openly and willingly manipulating people. That is bad. That is actually- How? Ooh. Oh my god. This is, it's just like seeing the Andrew Tate shit when they talk about like openly manipulating their partners and doing things like I can't believe you're saying it out loud and people subscribe to this type of behavior. That's what I'm saying. Like it's so horrifying to me that we're in an age where because of rhetoric against men and women, because things that get gendered so hard and people get so caught up in the us versus them that like. People on all sides of all equations, all genders, have found themselves in positions where they're advocating openly to use manipulation in relationships. That's an unhealthy thing. If you are engaging in unhealthy behavior in order to obtain or maintain your relationship, you can guarantee it's an unhealthy relationship. It's literally like a cake, dude. And if you have to use some poison to make the cake, the cake is poison. You can't eat that cake. Like, what, how, I don't understand how this is so hard to understand. Like, <laughs> you can't, you can't do toxic things and expect the connection, attachment, relationship, or, you know, love to be anything less than somewhat toxic. <laughs> Pleasure. It's like when a relationship is based on lies, then you're like, it turns out we don't actually feel the way about each other we thought we did. Well, you guys have been lying to each other the whole time. So, like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, Let's start with pleasure. Give this person attention, give them hope, let them get comfortable. Almost like they're in an ocean with unlimited supplies of water. Next up, pain. You're gonna take them from that ocean and drop them in the desert. Okay, no more water supply. In other words, no contact because that's when they're gonna get confused. These metaphors make no sense. Dropping them in a desert with no- I think anyone would be confused um, if, if you spent a lot of time around them and seems like you were really genuinely enjoying their company and then all of a sudden you act, you cut them off as if there was a big happening, a big fight or something, or that they were a person you really didn't like out of nowhere with no explanation. I think any human being would be confused. Um, so, not- not crazy statement. Water or in an ocean. That's when they'll probably be confused. Of water, you can't drink. Well, ocean when you start acting irrational, they'll probably be confused, and that's because they're slipping up. <laughs> ocean water. If you have unlimited supplies of ocean water, it's because you're drowning. Also, thinking that your text messages are the equivalent of someone's water supply is the most self-involved thing yeah. I've ever heard. Yeah, a snack from me is like life-saving they don't even use life -giving. defibrillators yeah. anymore they just call me i guess i'm like god's gift to earth mercy i don't know that sounds crazy that's just what everybody's saying i don't know just don't listen to this advice <laughs> people don't need to be obsessed with you to love you obsession is not love and ignoring people is just gonna make them feel ignored i don't understand we were getting along really well and then she just quit answering is there something wrong with me yeah you're talking to a meerkat what if I told Valid. you that the way you hold your cup on a first date no. can actually make a guy obsess over you? No. You are on a no. date right now. No, what the fuck are you talking about? Oh my god. No. No. Just... What? You have pretty hair. <laughs> and you're gonna go pick up that drink in front of you. However, a lot of people make this mistake. Do not, for the love of god, hold the drink like this. If you are holding a drink like this, this shows to the other person- Your hair is way more likely to make me obsessed with you than any way you hold a cup. Who cares about the way people hold a cup? Oh my god. That you have this like insecure and uptight energy 
Men hate that. Joke's on you because I already overanalyze everything I do. Way ahead of you. This is a weird way to stand. No one is not ever playing Bring like Me the Horizon. You're so bad at standing right now. They're gonna kick you out for standing like this. This is the dumbest thing <laughs> you've ever done. Stupid stand. But it's dumb. Bad. Bad standing. Rather, what you should be doing is holding a cup like this, more loose, ready to go. And that looks like the same. As little okay, I feel like she went from this, which this feels unnatural to hold a cup in any way. I don't. Wait, what what do I have mittens on? And she just changed it to this. Um, but what's wrong with this? What if I'm sitting there like this? What if it's a coffee or a tea and I'm like sitting there like this and you know, like I don't know. Leave me alone. Who if you don't want to be with me because of the way I held the cup, then get to stepping. I don't give a shit. You know, like that is like uh, we clear we clearly aren't gonna get along on a lot if if you think the way someone holds a cup is is a good reason to like walk away from them as a person entirely. Well, as this may seem and subconscious mind pays attention to everything. There's basically no difference in those two ways. You barely moved your fingers. Holding your yeah. thumb like this launches a website for dog vets. Holding your thumb like this launches a nuclear <laughs> I really think we're just overcomplicating things. How are you supposed to get to know anyone if you're worried about your cup posture? There's too many rules and mind <laughs> games. Charlie, bro. <laughs> That's why I'm going to start dating like you do in video games, specifically in Stardew Valley. I never got into Stardew Valley, but apparently it's like the greatest game ever. Why is her health going up? Is she feeding it? You want to get married? Sure. <laughs> I'm going to call it there, guys. Thank you for saying is that. Is that how it goes? You throw acorns at someone? And, and then you ask if you want to get married. That reminds me of like the game they're playing in community to see who gets Pierce Hawthorne's uh, inheritance. For subscribing, and if you are still here, God, I love Chad. Thank Chad, you so much for watching. I appreciate you clicking on my video. Thanks for watching, guys. Follow me on Twitch to join us live. Like and subscribe, and I will catch you later.